Hey everybody, welcome back to Dark and Light, and once again, there have been a couple changes, so uh, I made a little bit of changes to my recording software, so hopefully it looks a tiny bit better, and hopefully I look a tiny bit better, but today I've got an exciting adventure planned, so I'll first start off with, before this episode, like I said last episode at the end, is I did a bunch of farming, so you could see here I've got a good amount of ore like a really good amount and then i just did some like more harvesting for pretty much everything from wood twine and that is my <laughs> bore through the wall so i did a good bit of farming but probably my biggest farm that i did which i'm like really happy about this because i'll be able to plan a lot of adventures if we go over here i have gotten four more barundas i still don't know if i'm saying that right but i'm just gonna assume i am We've gotten four more now i don't want to do like i don't want to call them just like disposable but pretty much i got two or three of them to be disposable so if you look at my inventory right now all we've got is the simplest of tools basically i need to change my armor i forgot about that i need to change my armor but pretty much i've got like the most basic tools a little bit of food one recall potion just in case sleeping bag a chest if i know i'm gonna die and i might as well not lose everything yeah, that's pretty much all we're taking, but it did just remind me that I just looked in there. I do need to get rid of this armor because this armor is like the best armor that I have right now. So let's go right over here in the armor chest. And then let's put this stuff away. Let's see, what kind of armor are we grabbing here? I guess we can just grab the primeval armor, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll leave that. No, yeah, actually, I won't take that on. So let's see. Can I? Okay, so now we're just like a normal villager. Now, this stuff is not armor that I can get very easily, but you know what? It's fine. Um, but let's go take a look at our Burundas. And which one are we going to take? We got a. I'm planning to take the lowest level one here. So we've got level 13, level 17, level 11, level 38, and 20. So I guess we're taking good old number 11. So let's take a look at you. Oh, what was that? Okay. No, I don't want to ride you. Can I look at your stats? He keeps pushing me away with his wings. I need, like, I need to get on top of him. There we go. And then now let's search him. So let's give you more weight. Yeah, and then more stamina. There we go. So... Now, you might be wondering, where are we going to take an adventure to? What are we going to be exploring? Now, I'm not specifically sure yet. I think I'm just going to fly around for a while and take a look. But just so you know, this is basically a suicide mission. So I am going into this planning to die, most likely, because I'm probably going to go up close to a really big creature and just die by accident. But just so you know, I am planning to die. And that is why, in my opinion, I'm just going to call this a disposable bird. I spent time breeding it, but uh, for the sake of exploration, I will. But there are kind of three parts that we can explore. We have the volcano region, the really, really mountainous icy region, and we could go check out the dwarves, like the dwarven area. Okay, so if we're talking about the volcanic region, we're talking about that place right there. Now, I should probably stop for some stamina because this bird ain't the best that ain't the highest level so of course its stamina is gonna suck but we don't need that much i guess we'll just fly right there and then i the one thing that oh and there's the dwarven region actually right there the one thing that everybody has to understand is this game isn't exactly easy on you so obviously there's a cold area beyond the jungle and there's this hot area it will kill you that's why if you've seen a lot of spells and armor that say oh, um, uh, helps with resistance against heat, helps with resistance against cold, it's because these places, if you get if you get close enough, they'll kill you of heat or cold. So even right now, I wish I could fly over to that, like inside the volcano. I actually can't. I could probably get around to the edge of these rocks right about there. That's about the furthest I can go before starting to take damage. Not to mention, there are some strong creatures on the volcano island kind of thing. There are like fire imps and fire lords or whatever they're called. Real quickly. But I do want to get 
a tiny bit closer. So let's go ahead and park our thingy right here. That is a wolf. Get our stamina and then peace out. Because I need to get that stamina back. But you, if you look in the bottom right, you can already see our health or uh, our like temperature gauge already like being hot. So we got to be careful with that. Is there any fire? See? Yep, there's already... There's already... Oh. See, that's another problem with these volcanoes. They tend to like swarm spawn and they tend to kill each other which is hilarious but as you can see there's a lot of what are these things called i know that's i think what are they called i guess we'll get a little bit closer are they what are these all right flare horns yeah so they're like long horns but for the fire region and there's like the fire panthers what are they called uh, molten tigers yeah and then there's the fire lords or whatever but, uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to get close to those. And I think soon here we'll be starting to see some fire imps. Um, I'm surprised there's nothing spawning right here. But uh, let's get just a tiny bit closer. But we got to watch our health. The second my health starts going down, we got to piece out this place. Okay, but there... What is that? Is that dead? But, um... Yeah, we just got to watch our fire gauge. Is that a flare horn? Yeah, that's a dead flare horn. Maybe it was killed by this thing. But I do gotta watch out. What is this? That is a uh, fire elemental. That thing will try to kill me, I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping it doesn't shoot projectiles. If it shoots projectiles, I'm screwed. It b basically, I'm fine unless I meet something that can projectile shoot. If something projectile shoots at me, uh, we're gonna have a problem. But yeah, this is basically as close as we can get to the mountain. Because if I go any further than basically this huge rock, I'm going to slowly burn up and die. Yeah, you can also kind of tell you're going to start seeing geysers. So if I get close to these geysers, I'm going to start. You could even see like the mood changing. Oh, okay. I'm going to see how close I can get before taking damage. I, I want to try to get as close as possible. But I'm going to have to dip pretty hard. I have to dip pretty hard. Because I don't want to die right here. That'd be such like a waste of an adventure. And then there's whatever those things are. Or is that just a tree? What is that? Maybe that is just a tree. I thought there was something like weird animal let's see how close we can get oh yep right there I'm starting to heat up basically I think if I get any closer than here yeah I should probably not dwell past right here but that's a pretty good view at that mountain right there yes yeah, here we're going up 36 37, okay, 38, you can see it has a little fire emblem, yeah. Other than that, we're going to die, so we're going to back off a bit. But, let's make our way to the jungle, and then we'll go to the jungle, and then we'll go to the dwarven, and then we'll go to the icy place. Okay, guys, we're getting closer to the jungle here, and that is a creature that we've never seen before. I'm pretty sure that is an ogre? Troll? Cyclops. Cyclops, not an ogre. Cyclops. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing will attack us, right? I'm just going to assume it will. Okay, well, that's about as close as I can get. And it's not attacking me, so I think we're, I think we're good on that end. It's pretty cool. I know you can tame them. If you look at the knowledge page, you could get a saddle for an ogre. The real question is, do they have anything valuable here that I could steal? I know it's like terrible of me, but do you have anything that I could steal? I know they have these camps. Public campfire. Okay, so it's a public campfire. Then that probably means that they're not they're not aggressive. Okay, that's cool. It's good to know, so I don't like freak out when I see one of these. 
Let's keep looking though. We haven't actually gone inside of the jungle yet. Is this closed? Yeah, I think. Well, I don't know. Might as well not find out. I'll just go around. But let's take a look inside of the jungle. Now, this is a really interesting place because, I mean, these trees are enormous. So let's go kind of take a look in inside of these. Now, for it being a jungle, that also does mean that there are a lot of bugs and disgusting things that you could already probably see down there. What is that? That looks disgusting. Are these like advanced spiders? What are these things? These things look gross. Scorpius, they're scorpions. Ew, that is disgusting. I'm definitely not gonna land near one of those things unless I want to get stung. Apparently, let's kind of go a little bit higher. Now I'm hoping scorpions don't have projectile attacks. But um, this is what I was talking about a couple of episodes ago when I was kind of talking about like this place kind of being like the Ewok, uh, Ewok homes from Star Wars because they have these like these little ledges. I don't know why, but they look like Ewok ledges. I don't know. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Maybe I'm from like the wrong movie, but in my opinion, they do. But um, yeah. So this is basically the jungle. Now I don't really know what to find here. Pretty much it's just this. And then those weird creatures. I don't really know if there's any specific loot or anything to get from here. But, um, yeah, this is the jungle. Okay, so I'm looking in the distance, looking at that. What is that? I don't really remember what that is. So I guess we'll head over there. But first, I'm thinking we should probably make a detour at the dwarves right so guys one of the really cool things in my opinion about the map is just around the center of the map there's a giant plane oh come on longhorn there is just a giant plane now basically i can't land in this entire plane because there are monsters riddled here and everything's even fighting each other look those wolves are attacking a panther you could even see like this place ain't no peace ground like everything here is gonna die those goblins are probably gonna get eaten up by that thing but there are a few interesting things like there are these blue which mahoozits which i still haven't particularly figured out what they are what are, what are those birds have i those like okay whatever i don't really i don't know even know what those are but uh, there's waverns. There's there's a little bit of everything around here. There's longhorns, panthers, of course. What is this though? I don't know what this thing is. Now I can go in it. It doesn't hurt me or anything. I just don't know what it is. I mean, it's got to do something with I don't know dragons or something. I'm guessing. But yeah, and then there's that altar there. So I don't know what those things do. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep flying towards the Dwarven. Okay, guys. So I think there's a griffin following me. But we're basically right at the edge of the Dwarven area. Kind of how like you guys can kind of tell the edge of the elf area. But this is basically the start of Dwarven territory. What is that griffin doing? But you can kind of tell by the large pillars and... In my opinion, some of the coolest things in the game, very large, like, gargoyles. These gargoyles are, I don't even know if I, call, if I can call them gargoyles. They're more like giant, humongous statues. I don't even know what they're of. But, um, yeah, these things look pretty dope. Now, the dwarven, I don't know, they're not even the dwarven. They're probably just dwarves. Maybe I'm just taking it from Skyrim. But, um, I'm just going to keep calling them dwarven because it sounds cool. Their home should be around here somewhere like in between some of these rocks yeah from here hopefully I can hopefully I can get close enough it might be a little too far to my range but if you can kinda tell those kinda look like wings that kinda looks like a giant skull that kinda looks like a spinal vertebrae um, I guess let's see if we can get close enough Let's just see if we... Okay. 
why why does everything just turn vintage okay there's a lot of scorpions yes quite a lot of scorpions man this skull is gigantic i think i think this entire thing is oh i got it wrong that is the vertebrae but that's the tail and this is the skull of whatever this is jeez i mean i know there's like infernus dragons and ice dragons this thing is bigger than both like whatever this thing was oh mama not to mention i'm wondering how this thing died considering its size how could anything even try to take this boy down that's crazy now i still gotta watch out for griffins and gotta watch my health bar because once i get into cold or hot territory it'll start plummeting without me noticing and then I'll just end up falling out of the sky without even a thought. But this is really, really cool. And once again, I don't know if this will do anything later in game. But this is really, really cool. Okay, well, I think I've gotten enough of this place. I guess let's go ahead and find the dwarf city. Check out that giant structure that I didn't know what it was. And then go check out the human realm. And see what's up with them. That's not good. Ooh. Griffins are getting a hold of me. Maybe if I stoop down really low. But these guys. Literally, griffins are my worst enemy. Because they can kill me. But, speaking of griffins. This is the dwarven area. Just in time. So, yeah. This is just like the elf. But it's the dwarf city. Now, here's the thing. Do you guys remember how if there's like a really big creature, is the griffin still behind me? If there's a really, really big creature, I just lure them to my city and the NPCs attack us. Well, these NPCs will do the exact same thing, but to me and my creatures. So basically, if I walk in there anywhere near a bunch of archers, you could say goodbye to my face and my bird. Now, my issue right now is there is a griffin attacking me, but... Are you seriously still coming after me? Can I just like... These these guys are foot soldiers, right? Yeah, these guys are just foot soldiers. Come on, Griffin. Come near the foot soldiers. There we go. No, attack the foot soldiers. Don't attack me. Attack foot soldiers, please. There we go. And that Griffin should be dead. Yeah, and I guess this is going to be really dangerous, but I'm going to try to make my way into, this is guarded. I think I could land here for a moment. I think I could land here. I think, oh, this is going to be so dangerous. And if I lose this bird, I'm pretty much done with the adventure, but I'm pretty sure I can like kind of make my way in here. I don't think archers reach up this high. But yeah, this is kind of like their city. So a lot more compact. But I, I don't really know. I think I made I think there's like something over there. You can actually Jesus, this voice has scared me. Uh I'm hoping there's no Oh, that is archers. I need to run. Yeah, those are archers. Okay. Well, I was trying to see if there was a door over there, but I guess it doesn't matter because I don't want to die. But yeah, and then basically, they used to hold their horses here, but I'm, like just like they changed the elven horse location, apparently they changed these guys' horse locations. But yeah, this is basically the dwarves. So, the thing about the mountain here, though, is it's a little bit harder to tell when you're going to die. With the volcano, it's kind of obvious. Oh, you go closer to the center of the volcano, the hotter it gets, the closer you die. Now, this is basically a mountain. I'm not exactly sure where, like, the center of cold is. So, I'll have to be even more careful looking at the temperatures. But I'm pretty sure... I already have a snowflake on my temperature meter. So, I think I'm basically already in the no-go zone. But, oh well. 
So these are, what are these? These are ice elementals? Ice elemental. I got, I got it right without even knowing it. Look at that. Oh, yep. Yep. See my health? It's going down. I can, it's already going down. And then these are fire, uh, no, ice imps, right? Snow imps? Ice imp, yep. I'm surprised my Burunda hasn't started taking damage. What is this? This is an ice wolf. Ice wolf, yep. Got it right again. I mean, honestly, these creatures aren't very cleverly named. What are those? Why are they red like that? These like alpha? Elk. They're just normal elk. But why do they... Why do they look like that? Is there anything near? I think I'm going to try to kill one of these things. Okay, I guess I'll just stop right here. I'm guessing these elks won't kill me, right? Why are they so big? I'm going to try to kill one of these. Okay, they're just deer. Okay, see, do they have anything special on them? Oh, okay, so maybe they're just the deer, but like uh, our version of deer. Or their version of deer. So, my health is still going down, so I definitely have to be careful. But there are a couple of the things I want to look at. Like, there are bears. Can I take a look at the bear? Yeah, so there are bears. Which is kind of cool. Those things are... Wow, that bear actually managed to take a bite out of me. That's surprising. But yeah, the bears pretty much just kill everything. Like bears do. Now, I forgot. Wasn't that one structure that I saw that I didn't know what it was? I want to take a look at it before I die. It might it might be in the mist over there. But um I definitely want to at least take a look at it. Maybe it's I kind of think it's on the other side of the mountain. So what I'm going to do is back up a bit and go around. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've actually never been to the third race's home. I've actually never been there. So this is going to be something for me too, actually. But, ah, oh, my health. I'm constantly losing health. I definitely need to uh, get health back before I could venture. I'm pretty sure that's the... the yeah, that's what I was... Okay, that is the town. Okay, so that is the town. Now, how do I... Okay, we're getting less cold. No, we're getting more cold. Why are you getting more cold? Get less cold. Get less cold. Oh. No, no, no. We're, get, we're getting... Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going into the good zone. Okay. I thought the number was going up and I was getting scared, but now I got to remember. We were at negative, so going positive is a good... The real question is, what is that up there? I wonder if that's anything cool. Let's go take a look. I know... Okay, so when I played before, I forgot where it was, but there were ended up being like a giant blue dragon that didn't attack or anything i think it was more like a carrier dragon it was really weird but i wonder if that's up here and anyway i need some time to regen health so but this looks this looks cool it's a portal what kind of portal is this Oh, I'm really excited. I don't think it'll ha I don't think anything will happen if I go through it. That's definitely the human settlement over there. I don't think anything will happen. Yeah. But that is definitely something. Something comes out of that bad boy. What are these? Okay, I can just fly through. Something just killed that Trent. So that's really cool. Well, I don't know what that is, though. Should probably stop, because I need... And I'm hoping that panther can't just jump to me. What is that over there? That must be where the humans are, actually. The elven are there. So what? That's where the humans are. Appar what is that, then? Okay, well, let's head to the... He that has to be the humans. Because it looks like a town. Okay. Let's head over there, and then we'll head over there, and I'm going to venture deep 
Yeah, what? Now, I did, I've never seen these before. What is that? Okay, so those things basically, I think they're just like the like the dwarf gargoyles, but they're just human, right? So they're probably just giant statues. But let's definitely head over this way. Oh, that. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there goes my there goes my bird. Oh God. <sighs> I was really hoping to kill that Krampus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Because I I wanted to explore the entirety of this place. Nothing. Um, I'm gonna take another Burunda. We're gonna quickly exp just take a look at the human place. And I really don't want to lose another bird, but I do want to see what that thing far away is. Okay, so we're gonna take another bird. And this time, I'll try not to make it a suicide mission. I'm going to actually try to get the bird back in one piece. Let's head over to the human place. Oh, that is an alpha goblin. Those things usually have better equipment than normal goblins. But they are also stronger, usually. But I'm not going to mess with it. If it knocks me out, it will kill my bird easily. And... I don't want that to happen, so I'm just not going to mess with it right now. Okay, so over here is another thing that we actually never ended up looking at. And it's really, really weird. What is... It? Yeah, this is another monster. This is a... Uh, what is this? A Fire Lord. Okay, I, I think we know. I think we've seen that before. It looked dark. I thought it was like a dark elemental or something weird. But this... I don't know what this this is. It doesn't hurt me. But, um, it's definitely something weird. Something's in this ground, and it's got these weird trees and stuff. So I don't know what this is, but it looks like... Whoa. That is a big dragon inside of a house. Please tell me that thing isn't bad. Please tell me that thing isn't bad. What are you? What are you? Okay, I think this might be the carrier dragon that I was talking about, but why is this dragon tree? Yeah, th yeah, I think this is it. But why is it inside like that? That is so weird. Um, There's nothing up here, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. Yeah, you could kind of take the little basket down there. I don't know what his deal is, but uh, sure, but I can see the human home over there so I'm gonna start flying there seems to be another elite creature or no oh that's just a meteorite hmm I'm tempted to grab it but if I die right there and I still don't get to the human place I'm gonna rage quit pretty hard so I think I'll just take the safe route and uh, make sure I make it to my destination so once again, you have to remember that the NPCs will attack me. So I have to be careful. Actually, I'll land right here. Get some stamina before I go in there. But yeah, this place looks nice though. Like the door, the elven and the... Oh, what is that? Oh, I got attacked by an archer. Woo! I'm so glad that thing didn't just one shot me, but um, this looks nice. I like how it looks. The elven and the human are pretty nice. Yeah, they even got like a town square. They've got renting space over there. This place is cool. A lot of people. Okay. And hopefully I don't get shot down by another archer, but good old Burunda here takes... Has quite a lot of health regen. Let's hope there's not people in these towers. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. Like the music. The music's pretty dope. I don't have to be careful because I know there's guards over here. This is probably their town hall. So that's really cool. Okay. So I've finally seen it and I'm guessing over here there's buildings for rent, right? Yeah. Okay. 
That is cool. All right, so let's try and head over there. Now, I know the cold is probably going to kill me. Oh, and I probably should have even made some, like, cold spells just for this journey. But, um... Of course, we'll in later episodes, we'll head back officially and try to, you know, do something over there. But for now, let's just kind of spot it up. So, I'm just going to try to dart straight towards that. And I think I'll end up dying. But, um... Yeah, there's nothing much I can do about it, but I definitely want to see what that is. Unless I start taking da well, if I start taking a lot of damage and I die in like less than 30 seconds, I won't have time to turn around in the first place. But um, I guess I'll just have to uh, just endure it, and I'll think I'll probably die. But uh, what's another brand? All right, I have three more, so it's getting colder now. I should probably get as much stamina as I can. Because if I run out of stamina while I'm flying, that's going to be bad. So I'll get as much stamina as possible before we start getting cold. And hopefully I'll make it in one direct flight. Okay, so there's damage. Damage is nibbling at me. Now technically, even if my, if, if I die, my bird won't die. But I definitely want to see what's over here. So there's more of those weird elk. So I'm not losing health at a dramatic rate, which is good. So hopefully I'll at least be able to see what it is. But this is definitely dangerous. And I'll most definitely die here. Hopefully my bird won't die. And there's another ice imp. That is a yeti. Oh. Okay, what is this place then? So there's a giant bridge. I want to kind of take a look at a Yeti. Now, probably up there in the mountains, there's probably something. But yeah, there's Yetis, man. How sick is that? Yeah, look, there's a Yeti. Now, is this building? Oh, bam. There's a crater right there. Okay, we got to stop for a moment here. Yeah, that's really cool. What is that thing? There's a dark wind elemental. Oof. Dark wind elemental. So that is new. What is this? Oh, this is just another like summoning thingy. Okay, so... Basically, I think the center of the cold is right over there, and then these things will help us reach it, like, when we actually go. But I guess let's just head over there. Let's just head straight into the mouth of it. And I will die. So far, I don't really see anything too new or exciting. But there is another one of those statues. Is there something inside this cave? Please don't let me die before I could run into here. I want to see if there's something in here. I think a Yeti's after me. What is... Huh? I am so confused. Oh god, it probably just didn't spawn in yet. Oh, this is like inside of a Yeti cave. Oh god. Oh god, this is inside of a Yeti cave. Oof. Oof. Yeah, the thing didn't spawn in for me yet. I guess we could try to head in there. I don't know if there's anything else too exciting up on top of the mountain. So you know what? I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to... Uh, no, you know what? I'll just take it in with me. This is going to be very... Very YOLO here. But I want to see what's in here. And my Brenda's going to die. But I want to see what's in here. Oh, negative 22. Now we're getting cold. Yeah. What is in here, though? S oh, spider webs. That's nasty. Oh, and there's spice. Okay. Well, there goes my Brenda and... But we saw what was there. At least. So we've checked out the entire... I think we've... Yeah, we've pretty much checked out the entire map, which is really cool. 
So, yeah. With that, we are... Let's see. Oh, come on, close the door. We are two Burundas down. But we have, I think, basically explored the entire map. Now we just got to figure out what all those altars and statues do. And what we can do with the other races. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, guys, today is going to be an entirely exploring episode. So, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to actually do anything. But, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a post on the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.